When I think about Filipino food, pork sinigang is the first dish that comes to mind. I start by preparing the rice that I'm gonna eat it with, making sure to sieve the rice water. This video wouldn't be possible without my brother's help. If you wanna check his channel, the link is in the description. After filtering a decent amount of rice water, you're now ready to submerge the fresh tamarind pieces in them and boil it. If you have excess rice water, you can use it to soak the radish. I truly believe that steaming is the best way to cook vegetables. So once your tamarind pieces come to a boil, you can now insert the steamer tool and place your vegetables, the radish and the stalks of the water spinach. In the Philippines, we call them kangkong. Cover it up for five minutes and after which you can remove the cover, add the water spinach leaves and cover it up for another five minutes. You'll know the vegetables are done when they look something like this. Next, pour the meat in a huge pot. I like to use a mixture of fat, meat, and bones. Fill it up with some rice water and then let it boil. Don't forget to cover it up to make sure it cooks faster. Meanwhile, you can take care of the tomatoes and the onions, red and white. One tip that I learned from my father is that if you're making a soup, you just quarter the vegetables. And if you're making a sauce, you chop them into fine pieces. If spice is really your thing, you can take a chili pepper, cut it in half, and you're good to go. After a couple of minutes, the meat would look like this. As you can see, the scum has surfaced. They're quite nasty, so of course you have to take them out. Just scoop the visible pieces away, and then you can take the meat out and put it in a separate container. Afterwards, you're gonna strain any remaining scum from the broth because it's too tasty to throw away at this point. There shouldn't be much left because you scooped out the bad boys earlier. After cleaning your pot, you can now pour back the meat and clear broth into it. You'll know that you did it right if there are no more visible pieces of scum, like this. Turn the heat back on, put the vegetables you've quartered, and cover them up. Oh, and don't forget to season it with salt according to your taste. The tamarind is what gives sinigang that fruity sourness that Filipinos know and love. My mom taught me that you should separate the fruit and the concentrate and make sure you crush the fruit to get every last ounce of flavor. Alternatively, we have this sinigang mix which you could buy at the stores very easily, but this is the more traditional approach of making it. The finished product should look like this and it's ready for pouring into the boiling soup. Most of the work is done at this point, you just have to wait for the meat to tenderize. This hearty soup is best served with rice as with most Filipino dishes, and you can use fish sauce to season it further. In the Philippines, we call it patis. This is the best I could do with plating, I'm not an expert so don't judge me. We would usually just dump everything in rice and call it a day, but since this is a video, I have to make some effort in the presentation. You can check the tenderness of the meat using the fork method. For the plating of the soup, I used like a ramen style technique, if you can call this a technique. It's such a beginner version. But anywho, we're done. Lasa. Good, masarap. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, have a great day.